morning and welcome to the news at agenda I'm Adas Gopal Krishnan viewers at a time when loyalists and mass leaders are leaving the grand old party calling it rudderless and directionless Robert Vadra Priyanka Gandhi Vadra's husband Sonia Gandhi's son-in-law and Rahul Gandhi's brother-in-law has made an open pitch for himself Robert Vadra hinted at his political debut a blockbuster entrance from the party stronghold of Amethi in Uttar Pradesh he says the people of Amethi love him they know about his humanitarian work and want him to fight elections from the sea taking a dig at amethi's current mp smriti irani vadra has said and i quote a person who was elected this time is only concerned with attacking the gandhi family and not with ensuring development of the area and well-being of its people listen in to what exactly robert vadra said mujhe lag raha hai ki wo chahte hain ki gandhi parivar ka koi bhi sadasya wapas aaye वहाँ वो भारी बहुमत से जिताएंगे यहाँ तक कि वो मेरे से भी प्रेरणा करते हैं और आशा करते हैं कि मैं वहाँ अपना पहला कदम अगर राजनीति में रखता हूँ और सांसद बनने की सोचता हूँ तो मैं अमेठी को ही रिप्रेजेंट करूँ उनका मेरे ख्याल से ज़्यादा वहाँ आना जाना नहीं है वहाँ कुछ प्रगति के बारे में नहीं सोच रहे हैं बस वो ये देख रहे हैं कि गांधी परिवार के ऊपर कैसे कुछ बेबुनियाद कोई सवाल उठाएं इल्ज़ाम लगाएं और बस शोर शराबा करें और अपनी पोजीशन का गलत इस्तेमाल करें तो मैं देखता हूं कि ज़्यादातर वो उसी में लगे हुए हैं अगर मैं अपनी मेहनत से आऊं और लोग चाहते हैं और कांग्रेस पार्टी चाहेगी और अपनी मेहनत से मैं बनूँ ये नहीं कि क्योंकि मैं गांधी परिवार का सदस्य हूँ उसी वजह से मुझे चुना गया है या चाहते हैं Remember the Congress is yet to declare its candidate from Amethi Rahul Gandhi who represented the seat as an MP three times has chosen Wayanad Priyanka Gandhi who was last seen at the India rally's unity uh, rally in fact at Ramdila Maidan is yet to declare her candidature for the Lok Sabha election Sonia Gandhi has chosen the Rajya Sabha route while Vadra has staked claim on the Amethi seat sources have told times now that the party at the moment is not considering his name at least the state unit is not considering his name from the Amethi seat All eyes will be on this Congress CEC meeting tomorrow when pending seats of UP are likely to be finalized. But the BJP is mocking the Congress after Robert Vadra made that pitch for himself, calling him a leftover Gandhi family member. रावत वाड्रा जिनकी जमीनी पकड़ बहुत मजबूत मानी जाती है जमीनों के मामलों के बहुत विशेषज्ञ हैं अब वो भी चुनाव लड़ना चाहते हैं जमीन पर आना चाहते हैं सच बात ये है कि आज कांग्रेस पार्टी में जिस प्रकार की भगदड़ मची हुई है तो अब परिवार के बचे कुचे लोगों को भी सामने लाना ही पड़ेगा और इसीलिए रावत वाड्रा की जो लंबे समय तक एक दबी हुई इच्छा थी अब वो खुलकर के सामने आ रही है हम तो स्वागत करेंगे वो परिवार के किसी भी सदस्य को लेकर के सामने आए हम उन्हें पराजित करके फिर से भेजने का काम करेंगे अमेठी की जनता के साथ जितना दुर्व्यवहार और दोहरा व्यवहार किया गया ये भी किसी से छिपा नहीं है अमेठी की उपेक्षा हुई इसीलिए जनता ने गांधी परिवार को छोड़ा है अब अमेठी की जनता विकास की डगर पर बढ़ चुकी है भारतीय जनता पार्टी के साथ है माननीय माननीय स्मृति ईरानी जी को वहाँ की जनता ने बाहरी बहुमत से चुना है You're watching the News Hour at ten. Debate number one on Times Now. Super Prime Time. A good morning, sir. Go right across to our guest joining us, Sanju Varma, as national spokesperson of the BJP. Tushar Gupta is a political analyst. We have with us Tehsin Purawala, political analyst. Kamru Zaman Chaudhary is a political analyst as well. Faizan Kedwai, spokesperson of the Samajwadi Party, also joining us on the show. Tehsin, let me start with you. Is this why we haven't heard yet about the candidature? of the congress party from amethi and rai bareilly is it now clear that it will be robert vadra as the candidate there and amethi at least no if you hear no if you hear uh, robert g's bite he is very very specific like like a very humble ordinary uh, karyakarta he is only appealing that if he they are considering him amongst the several karyakartas of asphalt tickets he is one of that so that will only be decided on merit he is very clear on that but yes lot i told you on your show last time the people of amethi want to change they are absolutely livid with the bjp they think that the bjp hasn't delivered so you know one question that is that the media keeps asking is why not somebody from the gandhi family so that box is also ticked by robert g so i think it's a very good strategy and i and i think the high command will take a decision but i think it's a very good strategy but it's a box that he has ticked himself he says the people of amethi want someone from the gandhi family that's leave alone true. what the media is saying that's true he has selected himself no 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 
no, no, no. People of Amethi have been talking to him because Robert G has worked very hard in Amethi. So the people of Amethi have obviously told him that their grievances. And obviously the media has been questioning why not somebody from the Gandhi family. This is a question that often comes up. So I think it's a good thing. But aren't you opening time, yourself up to the Parivar Vaad charge? If the Congress system. does you decide see? on this, once again it will be Parivar Vaad coming in from the BJP. That will be the direct allegation coming in once again. I think, but no matter what BJP does, they are losing Amethi by over 50,000 votes this time. And if somebody like Robert G contests, then he'll win by about two, two and a half lakhs. Robert G will win. It'll okay, be a massive a claim. victory for him. That's a claim. No, I can't no, even I'm ask you to sure. back up a claim because He's nothing can justify a claim Amethi. like that. But yes, Sanju Verma, the Congress okay. is going to win hands down in Amethi as per Tehsin Poonawala and Robert Vadra, perhaps the best candidate. You know, Madhav, on a lighter note, I think uh, everybody knows Tehsin as a political analyst, but you should have also told your audience that he's directly related to Robert Vadra. So, you know, um, that would have been uh, only fair to your uh, discerning audience. Be that as it may, uh, you know, uh, fine, Robert Vadra has decided to contest. So far, so good. He's a bona fide citizen. He has every right to do so. But what I take offense to is the manner in which he completely undermined the credibility of Smriti Rani and the development works uh, that have been undertaken by the Modi government uh, in the last five years uh, and more. Uh, for instance, uh, you know, I was just doing some homework before coming on your show, and I was surprised to know that the first medical college, despite Rahul Gandhi having represented Amethi for the longest time, uske pehle Sanjay Singh ne bhi, uh, you know, Sanjay Gandhi, pardon me, uh, he had also represented Amethi. So, matlab Gandhi family uh, ka bastion raha hai Amethi, the first medical college in Amethi is coming close to fruition thanks to Narendra Modi's development initiatives. Today there are 30 read, reading libraries under the Boeing Literacy Program and STEM laboratories are coming up to ensure that people from Amethi uh, are a par part of the uh, innovative uh, you know, uh, and scientific temperament that Prime Minister Modi uh, talks about uh, so often. You have the first soil testing laboratories which came up in Amethi only in the last five years. You have the first uh, bunch of uh, Kisan Krishi Vikas Kendras for the benefit of farmers, which came up only in the last five years. You had a large part of the railway track between Amethi and various parts of Uttar Pradesh, like Sultanpur, what have you, uh, that have been electrified only in the last five years. You have the first railway rack to transport fertilizers that came up in Amethi only in the last five years. And it was in 2019 that Prime Minister Narendra Modi dedicated to the nation a joint venture between India and Russia in terms of rifle manufacturing. So today, Amethi is not just known for the Manrega program, which gives employment to more than 3 lakh people within Amethi district, but today Amethi is also known as the place okay. which harbors the AK-203 rifle factory. Mm. So the limited point I'm making is from railway tracks to Krishi Vikas Kendras to uh, STEM laboratories uh, to, uh, you know, uh, rifle factories uh, to Manrega. You know, just think about it. And Amethi is the face of what Viksit Bharat looks like and what Viksit Bharat will look like going forward. Right. Let me take that question to so Kamru Zawan Chaudhary. Kamru Zawan Chaudhary, at the end of the day, you know, uh, is this something that uh, a desire, one of the BJP spokespersons I was seeing earlier, says that this is a desire that Mr. Robert Vadra has that has now come out in the open. In fact, there was some talk that uh, he wanted to contest from Muradabad as well. A lot of speculation as to why that didn't happen. But you heard Sanju Verma, the BJP says that there has been development on ground. And therefore, Smriti Rani is going to emerge victorious in this election. Madhav, I clearly remember in one of your shows, I said that in Congress party, even I can aspire to be the candidate from Amethi. And nobody can stop it. Unlike the Yedurappa's son contesting in, in Karnataka, whereas his own party member, Yeshwarappa is camping down in Delhi, did not get an attendance for Amit Shah because that side, seat was reserved for a dynasty in Karnataka. Leave aside that. Now, when you come to the development issues of Amethi, you know, in the last 15 years, before Rahul Gandhi was defeated in 2019, Amethi has witnessed considerable growth in socio-economic and development indicators. There is no doubt about it. However, since 2014 to 2019, the Bharatiya Janata Party government in the center has created bottlenecks and roadblocks in all of the projects that Rahul Gandhi ji initiated in Amethi. Let me list out a few. Most of the projects have either been stalled, cancelled or shifted outside Amethi. 
Such deliberate attempts at scoring political points have denied the people of Amethi. Now you see, uh, a new railway line connecting Unchahar Salon Amethi has been stalled. The IIT functioning for 11 years has been closed down. The construction of two new Kendriya Vidalas who should have churned out five batches of students uh, every year is now by delayed by over more than 10 years. Mega food park in Jagdishpur has been cancelled. And the Hindustan paper mills which promised to provide job opportunities for okay. more than 200 people has been shifted out of Amethi to Maharashtra. Okay. If I go on listing how Amethi as a constituency had received stepmotherly treatment from the Bharatiya Janta Party, your debate time will be over. Okay. But having Sorry. said that, yeah. Uttar Pradesh being one of the most underdeveloped states in Uttar Pradesh, in the country. Madam, let me just finish. You can't yeah, give a moral to the Bharatiya Janta Party and just yeah. ridicule the Congress Party. Rahul Gandhi has given... Now, now come here. Uttar Pradesh, we all know, is very low in the multi-dimension poverty index of the country. Despite receiving around 300% of the central's revenue, from what it is going back to the center, Uttar Pradesh per capita income is compared What does that, that have to do with Robert Vadra? I think you are going a little you far off the topic now, Kamru Zaman Chaudhary. Tell Amethi, it's fine. I got your point on Amethi. Let's get in a response no, on that now. Sanjur, Let's, no, no, one second, one second, one second, one second. We are right not here only to discuss multidimensional poverty of UP. Let's go to the topic that we are discussing at the moment. But Sanju Verma, taking off from where you were mentioning about the development uh, track record as far as Smriti Rani is concerned, the counter coming in is that the center deliberately delayed or stalled developmental projects in Amethi because Rahul Gandhi was a representative. That's the argument coming in from Kamru Zaman Chaudhary. Please respond to it. When Sanjay Gandhi was the representative of Amethi, it was the Congress which was in power at the center for the longest time that Rahul Gandhi has been an MP from Amethi. It has been the Congress which has been in power. So, this is the Modi Sarkar ne projects ko commission hone nahi diya, funds were not given. You know, this is the classic case of people who want to play the victim card because they have been so incompetent, so inefficient, so inept. And in her cheese may Narendra Modi ko ghasitna hai. I will just say one thing to you. There is a small village. I was very surprised by the name of this village. The village in Amethi district, it is called Ajaz Khan village. And the people of Ajaz Khan have said that 435 households were there. Can you not keep quiet? Can you keep quiet? One by one. Please, Mr. 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 Chaudhary, nobody interrupted you. Please allow her to speak. The other panelists also have not even spoken. Please. Yeah. Thank you. In this village, in a Amethi called Ajaz Khan, the residents of Ajaz Khan have openly said it, and I'm reading out from a report in the Hindu, saying that 435 households were given 12,000 rupees each to build own toilets. Apart from that, under the Swachh Bharat Abhiyan, hmm. the maximum number of toilets have been built in Amethi district, wide the state of Uttar Pradesh. So, here we have to give a that is the typical nature of people in whose DNA victim card is the only thing that they can be proud of. Okay, okay. Let me now let me now bring back before I go across to uh, Fezan Kidwe. Uh, Tessin, I want to ask you one simple question. And the question is this. The big elephant in the room, if Mr. Vadra does come to contest the elections, will be the number of cases that he has been facing for the past several years. It's sure that the BJP will certainly highlight that he is a person who has been accused of corruption, at least in several cases. And that's bound to become a big issue. In this election, however, uh, the crackdown of corruption of the center has been, uh, you know, characterized as some kind of targeting by the opposition. How do you see that playing out? That will work in his favor. Uh, that particularly will work in his favor. Because as so far as the Haryana cases are concerned, I'll take the bull by the horns. The BJP government uh, filed the case lost in the Allahabad High Court, Delhi High Court, Delhi High Court and Supreme Court on Robert Wadra, where the CBI under Mr. Modi's government said that there is no evidence against Mr. Wadra. Then they got that Dhingra Commission because courts had all got thrown out. Where is the Dhingra Commission report? Remember, Ravi Shankar Prasadji told Times now, evidence is in my pocket. Where is Ravi Shankar Prasadji? As so far as the Rajasthan uh, cases are concerned, Rajasthan police and the Vasundra ji had put out a statement saying, listen, he's a victim. ED also had taken a statement as taken as a victim. So there is no cases. In 10 years, BJP is not able to produce an iota or shred of evidence against Robert Vadra. Mm. A shred of evidence. Mm. Tushar, so I want you to comment on that. Because, because if Mr. Vadra evidence is evidence. indeed guilty of corruption, why has there been no conviction in 10 years is what the Congress is bound to say. And that's what uh, Thaisin is reflecting. He says that if that issue is raked up, it will benefit the Congress and Mr. Vadra. Please respond. 
Good evening, Madhav. Look, I understand Tehseen's utmost passion for Robert Vadra, and I respect that. I wholeheartedly respect that. But you know, the excitement of some in the Congress outside it resembles that of a person who's found a lifeboat in a ship that's almost sunk. If the Congress was serious about the Lok Sabha elections of 24, they would have gone for the loaning hanging fruits. These includes the seats of Amethi, Rai Bareilly, and they have abandoned both the seats. Where is the candidate announcement? Where is it? For Varanasi, we had Ajay Rai and that too coming in so late. And Robert Vadra has also said that he would want to see Priyanka Gandhi as an MP first. So my question is, is Rahul Gandhi and Priyanka Gandhi not on the same page when it comes to deciding the candidature of some critical seats, especially those that were old family bastions? Hmm. We saw what's going on in Vainad. The communists are not happy about Rahul Gandhi fighting in Vainad after leaving Uttar Pradesh. So this would have been the perfect opportunity for either Rahul Gandhi or Priyanka Gandhi or the Congress leadership to announce the candidature of Robert Vadra. My question is, why is it not happening? What's the point of dropping hints? Mm. When the election is upon you, it's like saying that my exam is tomorrow and I'll think about buying a book one evening before that. It doesn't work that way. One and my, evening again, before the my CC. final question. My one final evening before point, the Congress CC, in, in fact. In Uttar Pradesh. Yeah. One. Yeah, okay, conclude. Conclude your point. Yeah. Madhav, in Uttar Pradesh, the Congress's vote share. In Uttar Pradesh, Congress's vote share has come down to below 5% after Priyanka Gandhi's wonderful campaign of Ladki Hu Lad Sakti Hu in 2022. Hmm. My simple question, after that debacle, after that political decimation, hmm. will Robert Wadra want to take the plunge in Amethi? Simple question. Hmm. It's a simple question. At the end of the day, Kabru Zaman Chaudhary respond to that. Isn't it coming too late in the day? It's a question that many are asking, particularly given that uh, you know the campaign is in full swing across the country. No, I just wanted to... No, no. Congress party will be fighting Amethi and rivalry with full force and strength. Please don't have any, any qualms about that. And one thing, let me see, it is because of Priyanka Gandhiji's Ladki U Lad Saktao, that's why the Bhatiya Janata Party was forced to bring in the one-third reservation bill and albeit that it was a jumla, another jumla because they are not going to bring it before 2029. But that's the impact of a political campaign that Priyanka Gandhiji brought about the country. It brought about a revolution in the thought process of the, of the San Parivar. Nothing more, nothing less than that. We are two and a half percent in Uttar Pradesh. It doesn't dent the spirit of Madhav, the congressman in Uttar Pradesh. And mark my words, whatever seats, whatever seats we are fighting in Uttar Pradesh, we are going to definitely come up, up our vote share in Uttar Pradesh. Okay. Okay. Tushar wants to respond to you on that. Yeah. I, I must salute Kamru Zaman Chaudhary's optimism because he believed that a party with a vote share of around 6% in 2017 assembly elections coming down to 2% in 2022 was the result of a wonderful campaign led by Priyanka Gandhi. And I'm sorry, one has to be absolutely politically ignorant to believe that what the Prime Minister Narendra Modi's government ushered in 2023 was a consequence of what happened in Uttar Pradesh with respect to the Congress. Mm. I'm sorry, but that's absolute political naivety. Okay. Let me let me also bring in Fazan Kidwai. Fazan, I want you to come in on this because, you know, while there's a lot of speculation about what this will really have in terms of impact on Dawn, there's a lot of talk also of whether there is some kind of rift, you know, the Iftar party not being attended, spokespersons only attending, uh, when it comes to the holy Milan of the UP Congress, Akhilesh didn't show up. Is there something going on as far as the SP Congress ties are concerned as well? No, no, everything is fine, Madhav. I can assure you that everything is fine. And uh, uh, I'd like to respond to Sanju Verma. She was making tall flames. She was talking about certain medical colleges that Smriti Irani made. Sanju Verma, I would like to draw your attention to two medical institutes, Babu Ishwar, Saran Hospital in Gonda, and SGPJ, which is in Lucknow. These are the two lifelines of these cities. And the situation, the condition of both these institutes is abysmal. You should know that... Uh, uh, in SGPGI, we require 320 CCM, that is critical care medical beds, but only 20 are available. Unfortunately, one of your own BJP MP's son had to lose his life because he, he couldn't get proper Mother. treatment. And don't speak in between, madam. Don't speak in between. Kindly one by one, one by one, one by one, one by one. Okay, so you, are, you can repeat him. Let him complete. Complete your point. Yes. Uh, kindly let me complete. Then you were talking yeah. about farmers. So let me uh, uh, put this on record. 
there is an organization called Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development. It says India is the only country where farmers are losing uh, income from agriculture. In 23, farmers lost 14 and lakh crores. You should know your agricultural budget. This one lakh crore was unutilized, was returned. You can respond to him, madam. You can respond to him. Let him make his point. Conclude your point. You have reduced the fertilizer subsidy. Madam, I can very confidently say, and the people of Uttar Pradesh are also saying, that BJP is the modern age Robin Hood. With a little bit of tweaking, they are stealing from the poor and giving it to the rich. We have seen that's the reason the rich, the corporates, are funding them through electoral bonds. The corporate tax earlier, which was 40%, has been okay. slashed down to 27%. Okay. And the direct taxes have been increased. Increase to 47%. Okay, from Robert Vadra, we've reached, uh, uh, we've come back uh, to the electoral bonds, but yes. But yes, farmer, your track record on farmers and development, certain very pointed questions there coming in from Fezan Sanju Verma. Please respond to them. And now, Madam, like you don't allow me to heckle, I want my time. Yeah, please go ahead. I am not allowing anyone to heckle anyone. Please go ahead. Yes, because I can hear some background music from this guy. So now let me just very quickly, it will take me 10 seconds to nail the falsehoods by uh, whoever this gentleman from Samajwadi Party is. The world's largest financial inclusion scheme, Jandhan Yojana, with more than 52 crore bank accounts have been opened under Narendra Modi. The world's largest self-employment scheme called PM Mudra Yojana, whereby more than 3 zero, 30 crore women have benefited, overall 43 crore loans were given, that is under Narendra Modi. More than 10 crore women have benefited via Pradhan Mantri Ujwala Yojana. More than 35 crore insurance uh, claims have been solved via Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bima Yojana. More than one four, 14 crore farmers have benefited to the tune of 3 lakh crore, which has been deposited directly into the accounts of these 14 crore farmers by the Narendra Modi government. More than 12 crore toilets have been opened under the Swachh Bharat Abhiyan, with a large number of toilets being built in Uttar Pradesh and Amethi. So people who sit here and give fake data, instead of Pushna Chati Ho, if Narendra Modi has done no work, if Yogi Adityanath has done no work, aap kya kile shabha kehta thai, aray, chahe dunia idhar ki udhar ho jai, but Yogi Adityanath will never become the chief minister again. What happened? In 2022, Akhile Shadha was shown the door by the people of Uttar Pradesh because they are public, they are all known, they are not buying your reckless allegations against Narendra Modi or Yogi Adityanath. That is why you need to do introspection rather than giving bhashan to the BJP on prime time debates. But Madhav, very quickly, in 20 seconds, because because you know, Tersi mentioned some stuff about Robert Vadra and the enforcement directorate, I need to correct him very humbly. There are three companies of Robert Vadra, Blue Breeze Investments Private Limited, Skylight Hospitality Private Limited, and Skylight Real Estate Private Limited. All these three companies, including Robert Vadra's land deals in Faridabad and Bikaner, are being probed. A fresh charge sheet was filed in 2023 by the Enforcement Directorate. And the special court in Delhi has taken cognizance of the ED's report and the Dhingra Commission had indicted the former Haryana CM Bhupinder Hudda, but it did not give a clean chit to Robert Vadra. So Taisin is lying. Robert Vadra continues to be clarify? under the scanner of the enforcement director. Can I please clarify? Yeah, Taisin. Uh, she's partially correct on the she's partially correct on the Dhingra Commission report, which is leaked. She's reading from a leaked report because the report is by the orders of the court, not supposed to be made public. But she's correct partially this on that. Uh, where is the? Under Hindu. Okay, okay, yeah. that's true. But the, but the media will a media, but it's a media's job to find reports. Uh, uh, Sanjayji, please. It's a media's job to get an exclusive. The Dingra Commission, as per law, the report is not supposed to be public, but that's partially true on that part. But the Dingra Commission report, please make it public and see what it is. However, the Dingra Commission report will be a maximum a recommendation after which the government is back. The government has lost in Supreme Court, High Court, High Court, High Court. It's not four cases on this. There's now, any such subsequent investigation by any retired TV. judge. Sanju, let me one nobody interrupted you. Let him make his point. You can respond to him. Please, we have limited time now. Yeah, I am not denying that there is a... Sanju I am not denying that there is a Dingra Commission report. This Dingra Commission report was a desperate attempt by BJP when it lost in court. Please tell me, why did the CBI and the BJP in the Supreme Court say there is no case on Robert Wadra? Okay, Sanju Verma, I am told... One second, one second. I am just reading from what has come in from the uh, from the Punjab and Haryana High Court. I am told that last year, the Haryana government, which is of course a BJP government, has said that no rules and regulations were found violated in the transfer of land by Robert Wadra's Skylight Hospitality to DLF Universal Limited. This is 
is what I'm reading from a article that has been published online. So this yeah, is the BJP government which has said this. One minute, Tahseen. One minute, please. Let me ask the questions. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So there was one deal involving Skylight Hospitality, DLF, Bhupinder Hudda, and uh, Robert Vadra. But the deal that I'm talking about, and it is this particular deal that has found mention in the ED's complaint first in 2015, charge sheet in 2018, and then the latest charge sheet in 2023. This is with respect to Robert Vadra using Sanjay Bhandari as a conduit. And Just the ED has said that we have proceeds of crime which were used by Blue Breeze Investments Limited, which belongs to Robert Vadra, to ensure that you know funds are transferred from UK to India and India to UK mm -hmm. through various shell companies, which are finally owned by either Skylight Real Estate Private Limited or Blue Breeze Investments mm -hmm. Pri uh, Private Limited or Skylight Hospitality Private Limited. And all these three yeah. companies are Just Robert Vadra either as their nominee director or independent director Can I quiz make my point? Uh, she's partially correct. The investigation continues against Mr. Vadra. That's true. That's the harassment. That's exactly. So please put it out because he will win. Thank you for that. Thank you for making the point for me. But large, large, most importantly, I have been on times now several times on the Sanjay Bandari character. Now, you again said Sanjay Bandari is a friend. Edie's claim is there's a house in London. Where is that house? Till now, that address of that house, it's owned by that claim fallen through. Where is the property? Where is the money? Tree? Do you know who was the only person in Sanjay Bhandari's wedding, doctor's wedding, dancing and singing the Bharati, an ex BJP minister from Uttar Pradesh who's been dropped this time? So please, it is a BJP connection. Continue to speak about Robert. That's how you're victimizing it. Oh, okay, Robert completely out of time. Out of completely out of time on this debate. I'd like to thank Fezan Kidwai for joining us. All our other panelists will stay with us for debate number two.